In Argentina, several sectors are demanding that General Juan Martín Paleo be removed from the post of Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces due to accusations of having carried out military exercises during the government of Mauricio Macri and thus collaborating in a possible invasion against the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. Our details in the following report. The rejection of the goals pursued by the so-called Puma exercises, which were carried out between April and July 2019, became evident right away. pero no sorprende. El ex presidente Macri ha sido, es y será. This is outrageous, but not surprising. The former president Macri has been, is, and will be a pawn of the U.S. interests, of interests of imperialism in the region, in the same way that other presidents in the region have been, in the same way that Piñera has been, as well as Iván Duque, as is La Calle Pú, and as is Mario Abdo Benítez, all fighting to be the main pawn to be a bishop of the interests of the U.S., but they are simply pawns, interchangeable pieces that also join another infamous character, Luis, Luis Almagro. All are names that will remain in the black pages of Latin American history for their ferocious attacks against the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela and all those countries that rebel against imperialism. Proof of the disgusting act of the government of Mauricio Macri. He campaigned for Venezuela to be suspended from Mercosur. He campaigned for Venezuela to receive sanctions in the American states. Accompanied by this shady character that I mentioned today, Luis Almagro, he launched a terrible campaign to attack Venezuela in every way possible, and not because Argentina had any interest in confronting Venezuela, because the interest in confronting Venezuela came from the U.S. State Department. To destabilize popular and independence processes, such as that of Chavez and Bolivar, was and is the central objective for domination. And in addition to that, Macri joined the Lima Group and other similar spaces to attack Venezuela. Now we find out and prove that what many researchers and many journalists had denounced was true. That is to say that Macri also wanted to collaborate with a military invasion. Here we have to cut the U.S. because it's wrong. In the framework of that supposed humanitarian aid that the right-wing governments of the region, the Organization of American States, U.S. State Department said they were going to bring in February 2019. Let's remember that Macri also participated in the 2019 coup against Evo Morales. There is another key fact that marks the alignment with the U.S. interests. Macri's foreign policy has been characterized by submission, surrender, and collaboration in coup d'etat, attempted invasions, and the disintegration of regional processes. The American policy of Mauricio Macri was of an overall nature. It was diplomatic, political, economic, with the immense foreign debt that they left us and that now puts the country practically in ruins. Furthermore, the military aspect of these exercises directed by the U.S. Southern Command indicate the level of submission to policies of Washington. Then, the facts that the Argentinian army has carried out exercises for invasion of a brother country of Latin America is not only a political and diplomatic outrage, but also an aggression against the tradition of the embrace of San Martin and Bolivar in Guayaquil. And also an offense to the brotherly relationship between the Venezuela and Argentina. That is why the Communist Party demands a thorough investigation. Although the information is quite conclusive about what happened, and we are directly asking for the removal of General Paleo, who directs his military exercises and who is currently the head of the Joint Chiefs of which is the area where the three armed forces of the country, the Navy, the Air Force, and the Army, are coordinated. So we believe that for him to be heading the Joint Chiefs of Staff after having had these practices controlled in Latin American and Caribbean unity, especially when Argentina is chairing CELAC, 
es truly barbaric, it's a scandal. Although the Argentinian armed forces were not involved in the failed attempt to invade Venezuela, Jorge Cremes explains why it's to the executive branch to take action. The head of the armed forces in Argentina is the president of the republic who can decide on these matters. On the other hand, if it had been decided to finally put them into practice, the military movements would have to be authorized by the Congress of the nation according to the Constitution. But in all of these, there was a secretive and hidden way of conducting these type of actions that put at risk the whole policy of the country, the prestige of Argentina, the friendship with the people of America and Latin America. So we believe that the response that the government has to give is to remove the head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff from his post. The failed involvement of the Argentinian armed forces in the attempted invasion of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela has its arguments, according to Cranes. All assumptions were false, that there was going to be a mandate from the United Nations turned out to be false, that there was no dialogue with the opposition in Venezuela turned out to be false because dialogue is taking place and the opposition took part in the recent elections and because in Venezuela there is democracy that does not copy the U.S. model of democracy but it's a homegrown democracy which belongs to the Venezuelans and that people are supporting the Bolivarian revolution so all the hypotheses that justify these exercises are absolutely false and could not be put into practice but on the other hand the government in Argentina has changed so it is clear that the central responsibilities lie with the government of Mauricio Macri and the entire alliance of Junto por el Cambio. However, the leader finally says that what has happened also provides an opportunity for Argentina to think about substantial change in its military doctrine, which continues to be pentagonal. Carolina Silvestre, Telesur, Buenos Aires.